Hello. In today's tutorial, we'll be taking a quick look over the, what we've entitled the quotation journey. We're briefly going to explain how the quotation fits within the general cycle of the sales order and some of the tools used within the quotation to help facilitate moving through the system quickly. By quickly taking a look at this graphic, we can see that quotation falls at number two in the sales order journey. In most cases, you would first add an inquiry into Rosetta to store the information which you'd been provided by your customer. This could be information such as the requirements of the product, some pre-specification of the ingredients in, that you wish to have in the product, bottle requirements, etc. Just so you've got a log. What generally would then happen is when you were ready to go to the quotation stage after you'd received information back from your production staff, your purchasing staff on pricing, etc., you would, gener you would add a quotation in the usual way. If you're not sure how to do this, then please look at one of the videos in Resetter about how you would add quotations, add inquiries, add sales orders, etc. One thing I would like to point out is, is that the starting at point number one is not an absolute requirement. In the vast majority of cases, this would happen. However, in some cases, you may not need to log the pre-information that you have from the customer. Stopping you go to quotation, you're able to go straight to quotation. And you can do this as you need to. Also, if you have a customer who you're happy to go straight to sales order with, let's say it's a repeat customer or even a repeat order, you can do this. You don't need to have an inquiry and then a quotation in front of it. If we come back to Resetta, we can see that one of the things we can do is go straight into our quotation to look at some of the extra features that we have as part of the flow. In many cases, this quotation would have been generated on the back of an inquiry, but that's not a requirement. Here we can see some of the extra tools we have in the quotation. We can upload the initial request that the customer had provided. We can add some of the notes, etc. Again, this is all covered in other help files. However, a few things that we want to take note of are when a quotation is first added into the system, Resetter operates a double lock system. Some of the extra features, such as being able to print, email or accept as a sales order are not available when the quotation is first created. Well, there would be a button here which would be enable an approval of the quotation. In Resetter you would set in the admin area a notification target which would be a staff member who would receive all notifications when new quotations were added by other members of staff. They would then look through the quotation and satisfy themselves that the profit margin had been calculated correctly, the labour had been calculated correctly, and the specification looked correct. Only when they themselves were happy with the quotation would they approve it, and the approval would be added here. You can, if you wish, have the same member of staff who adds the quotation be the same person who approves it, However, we would always recommend that you have it as another member of staff looking over quotations, just so you've got the double lock. When the quotation has been approved, the original person who put the quotation onto Resetta will receive a notification to say that their quotation has been approved, and these extra features are then opened up. The customer, sorry, the user can then print the quotation, they can automatically email the quotation. Or they can, if the customer comes back and says, yes, I'm happy to take that to sales order, click this button to accept it as a sales order. There are a few other steps to do when you want to accept an order as a sales order. I will go through them shortly. However, let's look at the basic features. Print quotation does exactly that. Shows you the information as it would appear to the customer, and you can print it for your own benefit. If we click to email the quotation, we get a page where we can automatically select information to add to an email to the customer. In this case, this particular email contact would get an email saying your quotation number two is attached. Some base text which you can set and change. This is the standard text that you can change as required. And then the ability to save whatever you've said in the emails directly to the notes of that quotation. In most cases, you won't need to save this, but let's say, for example, you had added some specific information in here which was key to this quotation and you wanted to store that in Resetter, you would say yes here. If, of course, you choose that, you think there's something wrong with the quotation, you can disapprove it. And if, of course, you don't like the quotation, you could remove it. 
If we now think that the next stage in order to process through our system would be to create a sales order on the back of this quotation, obviously you could go ahead, go to sales order, and add a sales order which contained this C prod if you wished. However, there is a quicker way. We could click the button that says accept a sales order, and what this would do, it was automatically add these two items, although they are the same item in this case, these two items into the basket of a new sales order. There's one key thing that you must be aware of. As well as operating an approval of quotations internally, all C prods must be shown as being approved by the customer. What this means is that you've had feedback from the customer in the form of a signature or an email to say that they are happy with the specification and the formulation of the product. In order to convert this from a quotation product into a sales order product, you would click into the C prod itself, scroll here to the approval area, which in this case does show a date, but in your case may be blank, edit it and add the approval date. Without this being in place, whenever you try to convert any of these items into a live product as part of a sales order, you would get a warning to warn you that that was not allowed to happen and have to go through the process I've just stated. As you can see, by using these buttons, you can easily move this quotation into a live sales order with very little effort. No longer will you be having to completely create a brand new sales order, independent of the quotation, etc. and not know of any links between them. One final point, whenever a quotation is converted to a sales order, whether you reach a quotation and are looking for the sales order, or you look at a sales order and are trying to see the linked quotation, there are extra buttons appear here to show you and you can click between the two. Also, notes appear here to say who converted it and when. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.